Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Since the implementation of the CHIP rules, the United States has relentlessly suppressed and sanctioned Chinese companies. So far, more than 1,200 companies and individuals have been added to the so-called entity list. The Biden team also pressured allies to jointly isolate the Chinese market, causing global the supply chain is under the crisis of collapsing. The tighter the suppression, the greater the pressure that Chinese companies exert on the United States at the technological level. The reason for the tension in the United States is simple. The birth of Huawei's 5G technology not only broke the technology monopoly of Europe and the United States, but also the full suppression will not help. This is a good way to build confidence in other companies. With the escalation of the Sino-US trade war, Huawei's high-end chip supply has been greatly restricted, and this situation has also affected Huawei's non-5G business. However, Huawei did not give up. Instead, it increased investment in chips, purchased chips from multiple parties, and increased independent research and development efforts. China has seen that Huawei's efforts in the past few years have finally achieved a dawn scene. The 14 nanometers process has made a breakthrough, and China will no longer be limited to the chip field. In fact, Huawei and other Chinese companies have made a lot of preparations in the early stage, actively expanded their own chip supply chain, adjusted the production process, completed the replacement of 13,000 components, and the number of localized circuit boards has also broken through. More than 4,000 blocks. In terms of lithography machines, they have already produced EDA lithography machines above 14 nanometers. It can be seen that the early preparations have achieved great results, enabling Huawei to achieve mass production of the 14 nanometers process and occupying an active position, forcing American and Western chip companies to take the initiative to evade sanctions and carry out a wave of defection. After the Huawei incident, the United States began to adopt stricter economic suppression measures against Chinese companies. The most famous of these is chip restrictions. Since the chip rules were revised, the global semiconductor market began to encounter storms and the days of giants have become more and more difficult. Samsung's profits have plummeted by 95%, TSMC's market value has been cut in half, and US companies such as Qualcomm, Intel, and Nvidia have also seen revenue. And a decline in sales. US chip companies such as Qualcomm, ASML, Max, and Intel seem to be cooperating with the U.S. government to safeguard national interests in the expectations of the outside world. In the face of China's breakthrough, they took the initiative to switch to chip products suitable for the Chinese market in order to protect their own interests. This phenomenon of defection is extremely weird. These companies have repeatedly stated that they will completely cut off the supply to Huawei, but this promise does not seem to be fulfilled, but has carried out the operation of defection. The biggest source of this is that these American chip companies need to rely on Huawei and other Chinese companies for the sales of chip products, and the breakthrough in the Chinese market means that Huawei and other Chinese companies will completely get rid of the dependence of US chip giants. This kind of defection is actually that in order to gain more benefits, these American chip companies have ignored the various restrictions of the US high level, 
and can only use this method to evade sanctions. SMIC's 14 nanometers process shakes the mainstream market. At present, the mainstream market of the chip industry is still the low end market, and the breakthrough of China's 14 nanometers process can meet its needs, which has also brought some impact. On the one hand, the mainstream market in the chip field has been shaken. Mid to high end chips have not been fully implemented, and most of the market is still in the mid to low end. The emergence of 14 nanometers technology is enough to shake the global mainstream chip market, which also makes the performance of American and Western chip companies significantly worse than before. On the other hand, the chips that appear on the market are still interlocking. If they continue to produce and cannot find more buyers, there will be a phenomenon of slow sales. This is the problem that Qualcomm and other companies are now facing. In the huge Chinese market, they can only keep hoarding excess chips. If the Chinese market breaks through the limit of chips, these hoarded chips will be difficult to sell even if the prices are lowered for dumping, which will cause these companies to suffer huge losses. From the development of the Sino-US trade war to Huawei's chip supply problem, to the breakthrough of China's 14 nanometers process, the entire chip market is constantly changing. Although the United States has imposed various restrictions on Chinese companies such as Huawei, Chinese companies have not given up because of this. Instead, they have increased chip investment and expanded their chip supply chains. The final results have proved that such efforts have finally brought dawn. The breakthrough of China's 14 nanometers technology has shaken the market and the encirclement and suppression of American and Western chip companies, and those American chip companies that once claimed to completely cut off supply to Huawei have started their own wave of defection in the face of the breakthrough in the Chinese market. The changes in the entire chip market are moving in a new direction centered on Huawei and Chinese technology companies. Well, the content of this issue is over here. After reading this issue, don't forget to like, follow and forward China. Thank you for your support. The next issue will be more exciting.